Okay, we go to Vancouver now where we are joined by Farhan Lalji. Farhan, the Canucks replace Bo Horvat with Quinn Hughes as the 15th captain in franchise history. Why was he the right choice? Well, Jay, when the first conversations happened around who a potential successor to Bo Horvat might be, the two names that kept coming up were Elias Pettersson, who's the club's best player, but also one with an uncertain contract, or JT Miller, who's just signed a long-term extension. He's certainly the club's biggest alpha, but there is an emotional side of him that maybe doesn't fit as a captain. Now, in Quinn Hughes, you've got a player that can thread that needle perfectly. He gets along with everybody in the room, and even Rick Talk had talked about the fact he mixes well with the group, but also he believes that this guy is comfortable having uncomfortable conversations. He showed that last year, having tough conversations with other players in the locker room, with coaches and management, and he really has grown and evolved with his personality since he came into this league as a rookie. Hughes himself says he's never going to be the most loud or vocal person in the room, but he does plan to empower others, and he just wants to take advantage of all the people at his disposal, including names like Daniel Sedin and Henrik Sedin. He said that he didn't really lean on those guys earlier, but plans to. So I do think that uh, there's an understanding that he's going to continue to grow, continue to evolve, and he may be just the perfect person at this time in the evolution of this franchise to become the 15th captain of the Canucks. And far on the Canucks, they're less than two weeks away from the start of training camp. Uh, why? did they decide to announce this decision about their captaincy in Quinn Hughes? Why did they decide to do it on Monday? Yeah, it's an interesting thing because when they've done this before naming captains, it really has come with a lot of pageantry and pomp and circumstance. They've unveiled the captain maybe before the first game and presented him to the fan base before the first game, things like that. They didn't want to do that here. And I think one of the reasons for it is, A, Quinn Hughes is fairly understated. He wanted to get this out of the way. There were certainly lingering questions around the captaincy going into training camp. The club wanted to avoid all of that. And also, their singular focus is getting off to a good start. The last two seasons, this team's starts have been historically bad. They basically played themselves out of the playoff conversation by the end of November. They don't want to go through that again. So they want to make sure there's a complete focus on where it needs to be. And that's early season, a back-to-back -back set of games against Edmonton, and then a tough road trip. So they want all the distractions out of the way before they get to that point. I think getting the captaincy out of the way certainly goes a long way towards that. Uh, the Canucks begin their training camp September the 21st. That'll be in Victoria, B.C. Farhan Lalji, thanks for this.